Hi and welcome back to Imaginary Friends. This is the last episode or part, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to be pretty short, I guess, because I think there's nothing left to do now. I hope so. So I looked around what to do about that code for that safe and uh, I couldn't find it. So I had to search it online. So basically what I have to do is uh, each side, I think that's, I think I'm, I think that's, oh, what am I saying? I'm mumbling. Basically the sum of three numbers of each side should be 14. It should be equal to 14. Like 4, 3, 7 is 14. So we have to do that. So let's do that real quick. So it's 5, 8, 1. I hope that's right. I suck at math. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that safe has Oliver's page from that book in that library. I think it's that. Or something to do with Oliver. Five, uh, up, five, eight, one. The code seems to be correct. The safe opened. There are some papers inside. These are. There's also a drawing. Wait, Oliver, seven. Oh, Valentine's Day. Aquarius. <laughs> nice. Oh, it is him. Oliver. Okay, now that we're done, let's go out now. Huh? Where? C can I come play with you? Let's go. Wow, that's rude. I wish I had a friend. Hey! Do you want to play with me? Uh-huh. Okay, so your father will be late, but let's start the dinner without him. No, mom, you can't sit there. Huh? Why not? All of us sitting there. Oh, right. Silly of me. I'll sit somewhere else then. Is it okay for Oliver if I sit next to him? Oliver said it's fine. You're stupid, mom. Don't you talk to me like that. Go into your room and don't come out until I let you. Well, I will never want to come out if you stupid people are there. Stupid mom. Hick, sniff. I'm happy you're with me, Oliver. I will always be. I can't believe it's already your first day of school. You have grown up so fast. Mom, don't cry now. Sorry, sorry, I won't. Well, how do you feel? Nervous? No. Don't worry, dear. It'll be fun. You'll get lots of new friends. Okay, it's time to go. I'll go start the car. Oliver, What is it, Oliver? Is it okay if I come with you to school? Even if I'm not attending school? What? Of course you will come. I don't want you to be al alone in here. And he said you will always be with me. Thank you, Haley. Haley, honey, you need to come now. You don't want to be late. Coming, mom. Come on, Haley, let's go play. I know you must be scared in a new place. But don't worry, I'm with you. Haley? Uh, hi. My name is Alex. We, we are in the same class. Um, 
What is your name? Haley. Nice to meet you, Haley. Do you want to come play with me? We could be friends. Yeah. yeah. Haley. I'm sure we'll be great friends. Haley, no. No, 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 Haley, don't leave me. Where is she now, Oliver? Where is Alex now, your precious best friend who made you abandon me? We grew apart, she moved away and we lost touch. Oh really, she abandoned you. She wasn't that great of a friend after all. That's not true. She was a great friend. She was my best friend. But so were you. I'm sorry I left you, Oliver. I never wanted to forget you. But you have always been my friend and that will never change. I will come for you, Oliver. I promised I would. So wait for me. Where am I? Alex? Hello, Haley. It has been a long time. It is. So how have you been doing since I left? I... I missed you so much. I was really broken and lonely when you left. Whenever I got a letter from you, it made me miss you even more. We haven't written to each other in so long. Why is that? I stopped writing to you. You always wrote how you liked your new school and how school and how cool your new friends were. I got jealous. I felt even more lonely. Why didn't you try getting... Why didn't you try to get new friends? I wanted to, but no one wanted to be friends with me. That's not true. What? It's not true that no one wanted to be friends with you. you. Just never let them come close to you. Don't you remember when you started middle school? Hi, Haley. Wasn't it? Huh? My name is Joanna, but you can call me Joe. Nice to meet you. It's cool to finally start middle school. It's going to be the best time of our lives, right? At least that was what my brother said. Okay. Anyway, I've got to go. See you tomorrow, Haley. Wow, you have a Tim Tail notebook? Yeah. Is she making fun of me? I would have never guessed that you'd like that too. I love that show. Some say it's kid stuff, but I think that it suits for anyone. The characters are so much fun and the animation is great. What's not to love? Hey, do you want to go to the library and do our English assignment together? I'm kind of busy today. Oh, that's okay. Let's hang out together after school some other time. Haha, <laughs> you're kidding, right, Joe? No, I'm not. It's all true. I'm hungry. Should we go grab some lunch? Yeah, I'm starving. Let's go then. Hey, Haley, you want to come eat with us? I'm fine. Oh, okay, if you're sure. It's not that no one wanted to be friends with you. It was you who wouldn't let them be friends with you. I never noticed that she was trying to befriend me. I was so blind. I just kept wishing you would come back. You kept focusing on how lonely you were and forgot to actually look for friends. Sometimes, you can't just wait for people to talk to you. Sometimes, you have to be the one to make the first move. I understand. Haley. we may not be friends anymore, but that doesn't mean you have to be alone. You have to move on and pursue new friendships, just like I did. I'm not really good at making friends. I don't know if I can do it. It's okay. You just do your best and don't give up. Besides, you already made me a friend. Now go back home, Haley. Thank you, Alex. But before I go, there is someone I need to find. Then you should hurry. And remember that only you can put an end to your loneliness. Hey, Oliver. Haley? Haley, you came. Yeah, I promised that I would find you, didn't I? 
Oliver, I'm sorry I ever left you. It's okay, Haley. I'm not mad at you. I knew you would come back for me. What is it, Haley? No, it's nothing. Listen, Oliver, I have to go back home now. So, I came to say goodbye. Can't I come with you? I'm sorry, Oliver. But you have to stay here. It's okay. You are my precious friend, Oliver, and will always be. But no matter where I am, you're always with me. And I'm with you. We're always together. I have to go now. But I won't ever forget you. I will always treasure our friendship. Goodbye, Oliver. Remember, Haley, I will always be there for you. Whenever you feel lonely, remember that I am here. Home. I'm finally back home. Oh, Haley, I was just coming to see you. Mom, it's nice to see you outside your room for a change. I was going to ask you to come to the grocery store with me and Timmy. Huh? But didn't we? Never mind. Sorry, I can't right now. I'm not really happy that you just sit inside all day. No, Mom. I'll come, but there is one thing I want to do real quick. Just give me half an hour. Sure, we don't have to go right now. If half an hour is what gets you outside for a while, fine by me. Thanks, Mom. Hi, jo Hi Joanna. Joanna, how is the summer vacation? Hi, Haley. I'm surprised to hear from you. I think you have never messaged me. The vacation has been nice. How's yours? It's okay. Haven't been enjoying sun much. Haha, <laughs> same here. Just watching TV and chilling inside. Same. Hey, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out sometime while there's still some summer left. Hey, yeah, that would be cool. How are you doing anything? Oh, are you doing anything? Ah, didn't read it. My parents are away, so I'll be just bored at home. Tomorrow is fine for me. Wow. This game is for all childhood friends, real or imaginary, who we have lost touch over time. Nice. So cute. Hi Alex, how are you doing? It's been a long time. You better have not forgotten about me. I'm doing fine. School is as boring as always, but the teachers are nice. Timmy has grown up a lot since last time we saw him. He is so annoying. I still wish I had a sister instead. I'm sorry I stopped writing to you. I was being childish. It was never your fault that I was lonely. I just missed you so much. I made a new friend this summer. Her name is Joanna. She is an odd one, but she's funny and nice. It is nice to have someone to hang out with again. I've been remembering the times when we were still kids a lot lately. What? Okay. I found some old drawings you and I made. I hope you're still drawing a lot. I miss those carefree times. I don't want to grow up too much responsibility. But I'm not going to keep dwelling in the past. I will face the future with an open mind, meet great new people and enjoy life. I hope we will see each other again someday. Let's keep writing, okay? Love, Haley. Wow. So that's imaginary friends. There's nothing much to say about it because this game pretty much said what I wanted to say. It's pretty straightforward about how you're reluctant to make friends when you're hesitant to make friends or you're shy, you end up making imaginary friends. Like I used like I used to have imaginary friends. I'm pretty sure you we all had imaginary friends to 
get away from loneliness and since we are the creators we tend to have characteristics or traits that are much similar to ours that's what i believe and it's not like imaginary friends and real friends are poles apart there are still something we somewhat depend on is that right i don't know but yes they they these are they are two different worlds real and imaginary and it's true that if you don't make the first move you can't really do much it's for everything right like even if whether it be social or anything physical like work or maybe a whole work anything if you don't make the effort you can't progress so like when i was in school i didn't have many friends like i had a small group of friends and i like i wasn't like i'm not going to say i was shy or reluctant to make new friends it's just that i was so confined to myself i wanted to be with people who i was closer with like haley was with uh alex and as time moved on those friends of mine from school they like they were pretty open they were pretty like you can say extroverts and i was like in the middle i was like i was an ambivert so i'm still am an ambivert <laughs> what am i saying so after i graduated from school and i entered college like i needed people i needed to make friends because i didn't want to harm my social life and i didn't want to gain social anxiety or anything like that so yeah i was the first one to make the move to make friends anyway i'm just mumbling anyway so this was imaginary friends and yeah i really like the artwork in this game especially the backgrounds like it had that watercolor painting style to it i really liked it this game started off with a little horror a sense i actually thought this is going to be a horror game but it is completely different it led to something different and i don't even mind i really liked it i like the music too it's pretty cute anyway so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one bye